salute to hoops guys welcome back another day another video as you can see by the thumbnail we got some new product to open up so today we're gonna be opening up some of the new uh, panini draft picks contenders we got one blaster and one value pack uh, I did not find these myself uh, out in the stores one of my buddies uh, came across them and asked me if I wanted to get a couple uh, couple items off of him so um, I did buy these off of him for just cost, which is pretty sweet. So we're going to see what the contenders has to offer. Uh, before we get into the video, go ahead and uh, like and subscribe, guys. The subscriber count uh, did go up, I think, by four subs after that last video where I was out of town uh, visiting my girlfriend, and we went to the uh, one of the local card shops out there. So definitely appreciate the support, and hopefully we can keep that going. So if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Um, we can keep the hobby going, keep it fun. I know it's crazy, uh, especially with all the people currently in it. So if you could do that, that'd be great. Uh, you can follow me down on Instagram as well. Right here, boom, at Salute to Hoops, the same as my channel name. Uh, always um, selling things on there, uh, so on and so forth. So multiple channels here. Uh, before we get into this, also, I already did rip open some of this stuff so I got lucky with uh, one of the uh, John Morant I believe this is the green shimmer so hopefully I can pull something good out of these for you guys um, but yeah John Morant is going to be joining us for the rip today now I can't say that I am a huge fan of the contender series to be honest with you um, especially the graphics contenders but New product is always fun to open, so we'll get into it with the value pack, and we'll see what we get. So, uh, one thing that surprised me about this is that I thought it was just going to all be uh, 2020 um, draft pick uh, guys that are coming up in this draft, but apparently um, it's like a culmination of other players as well. As you can see, we have Deer and Fox on the front here, so that was very surprising to me. Um, don't know why the majority of it is older guys or vets that are already in the league, but whatever. So let's get into it. We got Anthony Davis, De'Aaron Fox, we got James Harden, little D'Angelo Russell, Jimmy Butler, Marquette's Finest, Pascal Siakam. Do you have RJ Barrett? Fan of his, you, all, you guys all know that. Drew Holiday, UCLA. Carmelo Anthony, wow, Syracuse. Throwback. <laughs> Definite throwback right there. Holy. That was uh, from when I was a, a kid. I think I was in like six. Sorry about that. I believe that was a motorcycle being obnoxious. Uh, but yeah, that Carmelo Anthony, that's funny. Uh, Kevin Love. Uh, Kevin Durant, nice. Texas Longhorns. Damn it. Just feels like these guys haven't been in the league that long, but jeez, my time flies, seriously. Damian Lillard. Who we got? Precious. Achua, I believe is how we pronounce his last name. Uh, Mike Bibby. Okay, wow. Killian Hayes. All right, another uh, prospect, top prospect in this coming draft, so that's not bad. Bradley Beal. Let's see who are... Right, let's see. D'Angelo Russell and the De'Aaron Fox. I want to say this is the Green Shimmer. Maybe not, though. Um, cracked Ice Parallel. All right, cool. Not bad. I'll take De'Aaron Fox. Would have rather have it been a uh, current draft prospect, but, you know, I don't know if they even have them in here, to be honest with you. One thing I do not like about the... Contender series is like how plain some of the cards are, the draft picks ones. I mean, Killian A's is just kind of, it looks like they probably can't use the uh, college logo, so they just kind of had to use this picture. So, plain card, nothing really special about it. That's why I'm not too big of a fan of the series, so. But product is product. So, we're going to get into the uh, blaster box as well. So, they guarantee one auto per box. That is on average, that's how they get you. Um, so hopefully this is the one, this is one that has one 
uh, one of the on average ones, excuse me, in it. And we will see what we get. I'm really hoping for maybe like a Denny uh, Avijda. I don't know if I pronounced his last name correctly, but I really like him as a draft prospect. I think his stock has gone down though, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm just kind of wondering who the heck the Bulls are going to take. You guys know I've been kind of wondering that for quite a while now, so. Uh, it shouldn't be too much longer. I think the draft is in two weeks or so. All right, so we got six cards per pack, seven packs per box. And let's see what these have to offer. Put these guys right here, the box over here. Maybe we can get lucky and get like a Lamello auto or something. That'd be dope. We got Bradley Beal. Chris Middleton, throwback Bill Walton, uh, Jason Tatum, uh, Red Foil, Chris Middleton again, and Zach Levine. Okay, so no current prospects in there. Joel Indeed, Jalen Brown. All right, another Precious Achua, another Mike Bibby. Jalen Brown and Chris Paul. Okay, so uh, this is an interesting product. I can't say I'm a huge fan of it, but it's it's interesting. Jaron Jackson Jr. Damian Lillard. Another Killian Hayes. Okay. Mascots. We have Trey Young and Kawhi Leonard. All right. On to the next one. Let's see if we can get something in here. Anything would be nice. Another Zach Levine. We got Russell Westbrook. Hopefully I can catch the auto before we display it. It looks like that might be the auto back there. Okay. All right. We'll take. We'll save that for last. Because it looked like it might have been the auto. The card was... Uh, turn backwards I, I believe so let's do that last we got Chris Paul Rui Hashimura Anthony Edwards nice okay we'll take Anthony Edwards for sure Carl Anthony Towns red foil another Rui and Blake Griffin all right so I don't know how many cards are in the set but I mean we we already have a lot of multiples here a lot of duplicates so Another Kawhi. Nice little Zion Williamson. JJ Reddick. Wow. Good lord. Onyeka Ukangwu. Okay. For, I'm, I'm a fan of him, so we'll put him over here. Another Zion Williamson. And Jason Tatum. Okay, so we got two Zions in there. Last pack, and then we will... Hopefully reveal what our autograph is. Lamarcus Aldridge. Donovan. Uh, mascot. Exactly what I wanted. Sweet. Okay. Denny. I will take Denny for sure. I think that he might be something in the league. I want to see who the heck drafts him. I don't, I don't think the Bulls will. Um, but he's an, definitely an interesting prospect. So I'm glad, glad we got that. Donovan Mitchell and then DeAndre Ayton from when he was back in Arizona. All right, going back to this stack here where the potential auto is located. So we have David Robinson pull from the back here. Another LaMarcus Aldridge. This one's upside down. Russell Westbrook. And our auto is... Jordan Bowden. Jordan Bowden. Okay. I am uncertain who Jordan Bowden is, to be honest with you. I haven't really heard his name in the top prospect or like the um, like lotto, lotto talk. So I'm uncertain uh, who 
Jordan Bowden is or what his draft stock looks like. But boom, that's our auto. We'll sleeve him up just in case. You never know. You never know. So we'll just put Jordan Bowden in a loader. Boom. Okay. Jordan Bowden. There we go, guys. Let's just go over our hits here, or whatever you want to call these. We got Denny Avdija, draft class 2020. I believe he plays overseas in, I want to say it's Israel. A Zion Williamson, Onyeka Ukangwu, another Zion. Anthony Edwards, not a bad draft prospect. Killian Hayes. Not another, not another, another not bad one for sure. What kind of sentence is that? Another not bad one, a decent one. There we go. <laughs> Killian Hayes again, and then we got two precious Achuas as well. So definitely not bad cards. No huge hits or anything like that. And then obviously there's our Jordan Bowden. So there we go, guys. Um, that's your contenders. Like I said, I'm not a huge fan of the contender series. Uh, it's a fun little series, yeah, but it's nothing that I would really pay like over, overly priced resale prices for at all. Uh, but you can get like some potential, obviously a top up top pick auto. So especially if they're putting in one auto in the box on average, I guess it's not too bad. So, all right, cool. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I got some more videos that are gonna be made be made this weekend. Uh, my girlfriend's actually coming here to visit, so we got some stuff planned for videos. So look out for that, and um, if you haven't watched my last one, the LCS video, uh, it's a pretty fun one. So my editing skills are getting getting pretty elite, I must say. So I don't want to toot my own horn or anything. Uh, but yeah, appreciate you guys watching, and uh, thank you, thank you for everything that you th for the support. And I will see you guys next time. Take it easy.